Good morning. Hello. We are in a new sort of little setup because the lighting facing this way is, is bad. Ignore my nails. It's a long story. Um, actually, I could just explain it to you. So I went to a quinceanera recently um, and I basically tried to put on fake nails, press on nails. And like while I was at the quinceanera, like two of them popped off. And I only really wanted the nails on for like one day, but of course, <laughs> um, they pretty much just got like, uh, stuck on. So like two of them popped off, but then some of them, like I tried to get them off, cannot get them off. These are way longer than what I wanted. So now I'm just stuck like this until all of them came off. These two came off. Basically two of them, like, what was it? Like these two came off or something like that. And I couldn't get the rest off, so I was like, I don't want them to look crazy, so I'm just going to put them back on. And then, of course, like, the, the like other ones started popping off. So, we're just here. I'm hoping that they'll come off by the end of today or else I'm screwed. Anyway, um, today I am going to sort of do a new thing. Um, I want to, I've been wanting to vlog at least weekly and try to get, like, regular content up. And that starts today. That was supposed to start a while ago, but now it starts today. Um, the reason why is because I thought, so I bought this camera, which I talk about later. I got this camera and um, there was issues with that. So there was setbacks and um, didn't record, which is my own fault. I'm terrible at being consistent with social media. I've talked about this like several times, um, but I have a new camera. First update, have a new camera. I am recording on the new camera. Um, so we'll see how the quality about this is. What I'm seeing so far just with my eyes is that everything is looking pretty good. I'm a little like not centered it seems like but that's okay. Um, other updates. I made new candles. The first set of new candles are the pumpkin candles that I have been working on. So, um, they're, the vessel or the jar is actually in the shape of a pumpkin. It comes with a lid and the orange one in question is the usual pumpkin spice that we have is just in another jar if you want it in this jar. And then the white one is a brand new scent, which is white pumpkin and amber, and it smells really good. It smells really good. So those are now up on our website and our Etsy. Super excited about that. Um, I do think I need to, I do need to try to make some like wax melts versions of the white pumpkin. So I'm going to try to do that today. I don't know. I don't know why I constantly forget to make wax melts at the same time as the candles but we're working on that today um i made some new candles so the next candle has to do with sort of like a fandom um so baldur's gate 3 <laughs> came out recently and my friend brought it to my attention that i guess the de developers made an official scent for one of the popular characters named asterion i hope i'm saying his name correctly i'm so sorry if i'm not i don't i i have not played baldur's gate 3 so I apologize in advance, um, but I basically made a sort of scent for him. Well, I didn't make a scent. I made a, I made his signature scent into a candle, if that makes sense. So it was rosemary, um, rosemary, bergamot, and like just a hint of aged brandy which i could not actually find brandy as a like fragrance oil so i did use cognac um it smells like cognac it smells basically the same thing it's just that cognac or brandy one of the two are is like fermented a little bit longer but that was the closest i could get so full disclaimer it is the bottle <laughs> The fragrance bottle did say cognac on it, so it's it's not exactly the most, I don't know if it's the most accurate representation. I don't drink, I don't know anything about drinking, so so sorry about that. But yeah, and they smell pretty good. Um, so I'll put up footage of like me making candles and stuff like that. Um, our birthday also recently passed, which I don't know why we keep missing our birthday. I'm so sorry, y'all. Our birthday was on the 4th, which was Monday. Um, so we are now two years old. I'll probably upload a video with more of my thoughts about that, but yeah, um, 
I don't know. I, I like I, I really don't know how to feel about it. I think we're doing well in terms of like this year. Obviously, we made a lot more money than last year. I think we're really getting our feet off the ground. Um, the problem is, is that I would like more promotion and like obviously more consistent sales and social media is okay but I'm not crazy about social media my plan before was to basically like do like fandom candles um to sort of garner our attention and then get more eyes on our actual candles which I'm having fun with don't get me wrong but the problem is is that that drives traffic to our Etsy and I want to avoid Etsy fees so I'm trying to figure out how to get those people from our Etsy onto our website <laughs> So good problems to have, but problems nonetheless. Um, I'm kind of done with the pop-up scene. I don't know if I'll talk about it in another video or not, but I'm kind of done with the whole pop-up scene for at least for a little while. Oh, let me tell you before I forget, let me tell you about this camera situation. So the camera, this camera, as I've talked about in another clip, I don't know if I'll put it in here or not, but basically I got the Sony ZV-1F, which is the, I think came out last year, either this year or last year. Um, which is considered like a vlogging camera. Um, I'll put in like pictures. Well, I have an unboxing, so you'll see what it looks like. But um, it's a really cute camera. It comes in black and white. I got the white version. Um, and I, the first time I ordered it was off of Macari. And I was trying to get the black version. The person like waited till, I think I ordered it like Tuesday. And then the person, the seller waited until like Saturday to ship it. Then... They were like, oh, well, it's coming Sunday, but they shipped it through the post office and my po the post office doesn't deliver on Sundays. So I was like, no, it's not. Then they were like, oh, well, it's coming Monday. And I'm like, OK, well, I'll be here pretty much all day Monday. So hopefully it comes. And I don't remember if it came Monday or Tuesday or one of the days. I think it came Monday because I'm pretty sure that was Labor Day. Don't quote me. Um, Either way, it came, it came and um came at like 7 50 so they stopped delivering at like eight o'clock came at like 7 45 7 50 at night and the only thing that they delivered was a different package um but they didn't actually deliver the camera and so I was like there should be two packages so I went outside to try to stop the mail lady and be like hey but of course she drove off so I'm like okay which to be fair, like it wasn't our usual male lady. I don't know if she, I, I think she was off or just sick that day, but she was not there. So I was kind of like, okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're fine. We're good. We're fine. It's fine. It's, it wasn't fine, but I'm like, it's fine. So I sit on my bed and then I realize I'm checking my phone and it says that it's marked as delivered. And I'm like, wait, 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 go back out there. I'm looking around. I'm looking in the back. I don't see the package. Um, so I'm like, okay, let's wait till the next day because sometimes it's marked as delivered and then it actually comes the next day. Next day arrives, it's not here. So I'm a little impatient because this is a very, one, I'm just very particular about receiving my packages. Um, and I, it's something I personally have to work on, but like my little toxic trait or my toxic side is that I'm like, I ordered, I, if I order something, I want it the next day. <laughs> and I get very upset when it's not here. Um, within like a week I'm, I'm like okay it should be here but that's because I've gone through near scams so I'm just like I'm not getting scammed either way um I go down to the post office at like I think like three and it closes at five and I'm like hey um I got this package it should have been marked as delivered it was marked as delivered Monday Tuesday rolls around. I just got my mail and it's still not here. So I had to talk to her. There was a little bit of miscommunication because at first she was like, you need to go to a different post office. And I'm like, but I live literally at this address that's within your post office. And she was like, oh, okay. I thought you said a different street, yada, yada, whatever. So she leaves and goes to talk to, I guess, the postmaster. So whoever manager that was there. And he was like, she was like, oh, well, the manager... The manager like gave it away to like another we delivered it to another address and she just sits there and stares at me and i'm like are you gonna fix that <laughs> and she's like well we can see if we can like retrieve the package and re-deliver it but like i looked at her and she looked at me and both of us knew that was bullshit i'm like that package is gone whoever got it is definitely not giving it back you know like it's it's a done deal it's a wrap so i i like as i'm leaving she's like sorry and i'm like I don't I don't really say anything to her I just leave and it's not like I'm particularly mad at her necessarily but it's like 
y'all just gave my mail away to somebody else um which is kind of a big deal for me just because it's like how am i supposed to trust you to deliver my mail now you know like if you're just giving my mail away to like random people i don't know like i said i'm this particular about my mail i'm particular about my packages um as long as i receive my package a-okay no problem it's fine but i just i don't know so got a refund thank god got a refund and then i was like let me just go to amazon which obviously i'm gonna pay more but i was just like i'm just gonna go to amazon i'm sorry if there's noise out there they're doing construction but obviously i'm gonna pay more so um went to amazon they were like we're gonna deliver it same day it's coming from five to ten so so basically all day i'm checking my phone double checking my phone for when it's coming i see that it's on the way and um i'm like okay it's on the way it's on the way it's on the way and then it i look at it and it's like oh it's been marked as delivered and i'm like <gasps> so i go out i'm like rushing to the door thank god it's still there but what they did is they just left the package like on the front porch and did not ring the doorbell and i'm like i listen y'all nine times out of ten when y'all are delivering a package i'm probably gonna be here or if i'm not here like someone is is most certainly here uh, please ring the doorbell and like I was like I don't know if I need to leave a note on the door because it's not like I want you to sit there and wait for me obviously you can like drop the package on the porch that's fine but ring the doorbell let somebody know that could be home you could just ding dong drop the package walk off but the fact that you're just dropping it and like leaving like how nobody's gonna know it's there and it's gonna be sitting out on all day like that's basically just another opportunity for someone to steal my shit so I, I just, I don't know. I'm still a little heated over that, but at least, you know, I have the camera now. We're okay. I'm recording it mostly to test out the quality and to also like use it. So yeah, um, I blabber on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, But yeah, thanks for watching this video vlog of sorts. Um, I'm going to try to post a little bit more consistently, at least once a week. No promises. I am going to try to um, 
check out i am gonna also try to post to tiktok and instagram pretty regularly um if you have not already please check out our new releases on moonwaxgalaxy.com it's pumpkin candles are out now asterion baldur's gate three candles are coming soon they will be coming out this week i'm just not sure when um please be patient with me because i still gotta like i'm still getting my labels commissioned so they but they should be done this week i will put up an announcement so follow us on somewhere else on the galaxy orbit around us on one of our other social media and you will get the announcement um i might make it like a short youtube video or youtube short about it but yes um that being said thank you so much for watching this video may your stars always align and may fate always inspire in your favor i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.